Hello friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. So today we're going to take this tray that I got at Goodwill, I don't know, for a couple dollars probably, back on a uh, Goodwill haul a while back. I'll link the video up above for you guys to check out if you'd like to check out that haul. So I'm just wiping it down with a Lysol wipe and it was pretty dusty dirty so I decided to do both sides and clean it all up nice before I painted it. So here I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. It's a light gray brown color, very pretty color. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little something different. So I'm just painting it all the way all over front and back, giving it two coats of paint. It's going to need it with that darkness underneath. Although I am going to be distressing it, so I don't mind if it comes through a little bit, but I do want some spots to be fully covered. So two coats on the front and the back is what it's going to be. There we go, we got it painted on the both front and back sides, two coats. So now I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm re-wetting the paint after it's dried. I did use a heat gun to dry it a little quicker in between coats so that I could get this project going because I was excited to see what it was going to look like. So I'm just taking the wet wipe and I had to take several and use them. but. Go along, I went along the edges and took the paint off down to the wood part so that you could see some of the brown coming through. And then that played up on the brown in the paint as well. So there we go, we got that. And I also flipped it over and did the uh, back side along the edges where you would see, see it a little bit. So there we go. So now I'm taking some of these wall pieces that I had from, I believe I got them from Walmart on discount. Uh, they're adhesive stickers that would stick on the wall. And I really think they're so pretty and I love hydrangeas and I thought this color of the tray and the hydrangea uh, played well together. So I decided to do that one. And I've learned from the last time I used them that I need to cut down the white part on them so that you don't see those along the edge. So I cut right up to the flower and just went along all the cracks and crevices in the flower to get most of the back, the white background off. I mixed a little bit of white wax with a little bit of water just to water it down some to put it on. I had already done the bottom and I let that dry. So, and I didn't get that on, on film, but I did uh, obviously get this part and I just went all over it. There's a little piece of my brush falling off. I really need some new brushes. I have so many, but I just need to clean them. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I did a nice uh, all over coat along the edges and in the handles. And then I just took a piece of paper towel and wiped the white off. And then it just leaves it down in the cracks and crevices a little bit. Uh, it gives it a different tone, just a light touch of a tone. It also seals the paint so that it doesn't chip and come off. If it would do that, it would be fine with me because I do like distressed, but it would probably take more off than some people would like. So. I, I did wax it and that seals it nicely and I did that before I put on the stickies because I didn't want the white wax on the flowers after I stuck them down. Those will be sealed up with Mod Podge. So as I was waxing the tray I decided that I would do some little feet out of these little beads on the bottom of the tray just to stand it up off the whatever it's sitting on a little bit. So there's four little beads. I'm using antique wax on the feet. 
and I didn't water this down. You could, but there was just those were just tiny little beads. I didn't think it was gonna make a make a difference. So I just took a little paintbrush and painted those around and got them all covered. And then I took a paper towel and wiped them off and you know just the excess wax off. So as far as being uh, sealed, that those were all set as well. The wax is a sealer, so it sh those should be fine on the bottom. And I really like this antique wax, it's using it as a stain. I think it looks, I love the brown color of it. It's very pretty. And again, I thought it would play off the brown in the paint a little bit and bring that tone out also with the distressing so so I'm using E6000 and some hot glue to glue these on my E6000 had a huge problem I took the top off and was trying to squeeze it out the top and the bottom blew out so <laughs> so I'm just taking it out of the bottom because <laughs> I didn't I just couldn't get it to come out the top I'm assuming that it is all hardened up there so I've got to get something and stick it through to get it to open up but I thought it was kind of funny that it just kind of plopped out <laughs> the bottom so I kind of made a mess anyway but uh, I got those stuck on there pretty nicely and that sticks so fast when you use the hot glue along with the E6000 and um, the E6000 sticks so well it's a good hold. All right, out comes the big jar of Mod Podge and a tiny little brush. I really wish I had gotten a bigger brush. It's making too many strokes on there, but brush strokes, but that's okay. So I'm just coating the whole bottom of the tray with the Mod Podge because I'm not really sure exactly where the flower is going to sit. So I just want to cover it all. It's all going to be covered anyway. It's a good sealer and it, it doesn't matter because I'm going to go over the flower once it's on again and seal that down. But as you can see, I'm just covering it all, all up and then I'm going to stick my flowers down. I'm going to peel the backs off and then stick those guys down. I just want it right in the middle. And that sticks so well and I did take the back the sticky back off so that was sticky plus the Mod Podge was sticky so it's double stuck and then I've got these tiny little ones little flowers they're, they're not really hydrangeas but they went with it and I thought it just gave it a little it just opened it up more and used more of the tray I just thought it was really pretty Peeling those backs off is not fun though. <laughs> they didn't want to come off, especially those little, little pieces. There we go. And like I said, just going over it with a nice coat of Mod Podge all over the top and then let that dry nicely. And then you can see how I set it up. A couple different ways to show you what you could do with it. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care and have a good day.